Hi everybody, today we get a taste of the Blue Ridge Mountains by driving about a third of the Blue Ridge Parkway and pay a visit to the town that inspired Maybury in the 1960s Andy Griffith Show. A big welcome back to our elite subscribers. In June 2023, we made a trip to North Carolina for a friend's wedding. Since we had few obligations for the wedding preparation, we had several days to explore the scenic area around the area where we stayed, the impressive Carolina getaway cabins near Dobson, North Carolina. The Blue Ridge Parkway is 469 miles long, so in our limited time, we only got to explore about a third of it. On our first day, we entered the parkway at mile 217, heading north into Virginia. It's a beautiful drive that twists through the forest and old farms at a leisurely 45 miles per hour, but no stop signs or traffic lights to slow us down. We crossed all major roads over bridges, making it a relaxing and scenic cruise. Our first stop was at the picturesque Mabry Mill near mile marker 176. We enjoyed a nice lunch at the diner before exploring the grounds. This was easily the most photogenic location we saw anywhere on our road trip. We went inside the mill itself to see how the saw was used, aided by a docent who further explained what we were seeing. We hiked along the water sluices, saw some of the other historic structures, and even visited the still used to make moonshine. It's a well-known fact that when operating an old-time sawmill, it's best to be a little tipsy. Afterwards, we hit several overlooks, although the view is a bit obscured by smoke blown from the wildfires all the way up in Canada. We passed several deer along the route, and finally turned around at Rakes Mill Pond near mile 162. I know it's a pond by Rakes Mill. <laughs> Happy photographing what would be knee deep in water if it wasn't for that little dam. That dam. It's not really a full dam, that's more of a darn. <laughs> that evening, we returned to our massive cabin to socialize with the rest of the wedding party. The morning of the wedding, we had some time for a quick tour of Mount Airy, the inspiration for Mayberry from the Andrew Griffith Show, which ran from 1960 to 1968, yet is still shown in reruns. Mainstream looked like it could have been a set on the show, fully embracing its place in pop culture. We passed Barney's Cafe, which was too crowded to get lunch, so we went across the street to Boo's Kitchen, where we were treated to free pizza slices because the chef was working out the new recipe using his new pizza oven. Along with all the Mayberry-themed gift shops, there was even a Floyd's Barbershop, which was a key fixture of the old show. The town really embraces its TV legacy. Check out these vintage police cars. It's been a while since we've watched the show. We don't remember how the llama fits in. We didn't have the guts to ask. That evening, we had a great time at the wedding, where we got to visit with many old friends. I don't know if it's just me, but Kathy didn't seem to make an aggressive effort to catch that bouquet. Leave a comment and let me know what you think. The next day, we went south on the parkway. Again, we entered at mile 217. The road was still beautiful, but the weather was starting to turn stormier. We also had to take some long detours around areas of the parkway that were closed under maintenance. This seems to be a common condition, so don't expect to be able to drive the entire length in one visit. We stopped at several scenic overlooks. The views, well, let's just say they were a bit obscured. The rain didn't dampen our spirits at Cone Manor, now a craft center. So we're at the Cone House Arts and Crafts Center here on the Blue Ridge Parkway. We've never stopped here. If it wasn't for raining and all the overlooks were absolutely, completely non-overlooking. But this is a neat stop. It was interesting to see how such an impressive old mansion was repurposed to offer artistic items to Parkway visitors. We ended our rather claustrophobic southbound journey at Linville Falls with a short hike to the Upper Falls. It would have been nice to peek over the Lower Fall into the Plunge Basin, however, there's no safe way of doing that from the Upper Falls Trail. Rain or shine, this place is pure magic and worth every raindrop. And that's a wrap on our North Carolina adventure. From scenic overlooks to iconic TV nostalgia, this trip exceeded all expectations. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more fun travels. If you have suggestions for stops we missed along the parkway, please put them in the comments. Until next time, happy adventures. Thanks for watching.